Welcome to Table for One, I'm the narrator, and for once in this channel's history, I'm going to try and make a short video. Let's skip the intro. So I have a mock game of Voidfall set up here using House Quarters are. I've eliminated most of the irrelevant information. All we really need is what you see on the screen. So we started with basic tech torpedoes. I've put it on the right side just to avoid glare. I know that's a weird place to put it, but it's not technically wrong. And I'll go through the components in just a moment, but uh, I'm gonna ask you to pause the video uh, after I do that to test to see if you can figure out all your production yields. And for instructional purposes, let's just look at credits and energy for this example. There are five sectors on this map. This one is a rift that we do not control. This is our home sector. We have a population of four. Uh, it's pure and there's a farmer's guild. We have this outpost sector here with a population of four, which is also pure. There's an engineer's guild and a miner's guild. There's another sector here that we've taken over with a pure population of two, and again, uh, engineer's guild. And then there's this sector here, which we control. It has a corrupted fixed population of six, and it has a engineer's guild and two pre-printed bankers guilds. So of course, all of this is assuming we're a few turns into the game, but go ahead and pause the video now and see if you can determine our production yields for energy and for credits, and then I'll give you the answer afterwards. So go ahead and pause. All right, we're back. So if you came up with 12 energy and 12 credits, you are wrong, and let's talk about why. So credits are a little bit easier. We only have bankers guilds in this one sector. The population is six, it's fixed and it's corrupted, but neither of those things affect production. So we take the two bankers guilds, multiply it by the population of six, so our production level is 12 for credits. And in that instance, it gives us a yield of six. I'll take a look at that right here. I probably can't see it, but production level of 12, yield of six. Now, if we look at energy, we've got six here, plus another four here and another two. So you would think it'd be six and four, two would be another 12, but our actual production level is 13. And the reason is because of our origin card. So that was this card that we got during setup that told us how to put together uh, all of our starting sectors and starting resources and, and just how to, how to set up for House Cortazar um, Origin A. And so what they did was during setup, you actually get one more energy production than what the map would have you uh, calculate. So you get one engineer's guild in your outpost sector at population two, that would normally give you a level of two, but you start with a level of three. And so to remind you of that, on the back side of the card, which is the starting agenda, which goes face up during play, there's a little reminder down here in this corner, and it has a picture of an engineer's guild with an arrow indicating to move the dial and a plus sign. So that's useful mid game if you want to double check your production level, you've got six here and four here and two here equals 12 plus one, your production should be at 13. So that's the entire purpose of this reminder here in the uh, bottom left corner of your starting agenda. Now, not all houses and all starting agendas will have that, but many of them will. Now here's a quick example of a time when you uh, might need that. So let's say we've got a, we've got this layout here and on my next turn, I add a banker's guild here. So I need to increase my credit uh, level by four, but I'm already at 12 and it maxes out at 13. So I've actually got more banker's guilds than I can fully utilize, which, hey, that's, that's great so far, so good. But let's say I've got a lot of crises up on the military track on my crisis board and I draw a war card and maybe that gives the Voidborn some extra power too. So we're gonna skirmish in this sector here and I lose. So I lose this fleet power. Let's flip this over to, to the Voidborn side, put two fleet power on it and a bounty token. So now I need to reduce my production levels because I've lost that sector. So I've lost one engineer's guild at level six. So I subtract from the 13 down to seven. And then I've lost two bankers guilds, each at population six. So I can reduce this by 12, but that's gonna bring me back down to level one. And that's not quite right. Uh, because I had more bankers guilds than I needed. So I've kind of got to recalculate at this point. So I can go around the map and see, well, I've just got the one bankers guild and it's at level four. So let's bring this up to level four where it should be. And if that were to happen with a different resource, say energy, you can use this little section here to make sure that you're calculating properly mid game. 
So that's the purpose of this little reminder. You don't need it all the time. You don't need it every game. And even when you do need it, you might only need it once, but it's just useful to have. So you can look down at the map and the, the game state at any time, just double check your production levels of a particular resource. So that was a great question coming from Corey. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. If anybody else has questions or Corey, if you've got some more about Voidfall, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I do have a video coming out next week on some beginner strategy tips. And I've had a number of requests for solo playthroughs. Uh, which I've done a couple of, but I'd love to do some more, so I will get to that. It just takes a little bit of time, but I promise more of those are coming. On that note, if there's a particular house or solo map you'd like to see, let me know, and I will try and play that one. Anyway, that's what I've got for you this week on Table for One. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment. And don't forget there's a link in the description to my coffee page if you want to throw me a couple bucks. So thanks for watching Table for One, and I will see you next time.